Yeah, I mean, so what, what we've seen today, I think, has been, you know, really impressive. Uh, what we what we know is that when the refugees come into an area, it can put a strain on the local health services. Uh, it can lead to overcrowding in the schools. It can create environmental issues. Uh, it can make it difficult for host communities to to uh, continue their livelihood. And so, what we've seen today is a project that's trying to meet all those different needs. We've seen the health centre has been upgraded, and you know, the quality looked really good. Since support for the local school where you have host community members and refugees uh, at school together um, and also support for the environment there through renewable energy. And, and here in this village we've seen with the, with the women's group uh, becoming self-reliant, support, you know, uh, getting on their own two feet, starting their own fund, using the money to invest to, 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 to generate income. So all those different elements of, of the impact of the refugee presence here, both positive and, and, um, and some that can be negative on the, on the local community, the project's really trying to address all of those, so um, they're really pleasing to see that in person. To my community, one, it has improved uh, the, the production of maize in the community. Hence, uh, the community members get income from the maize cells. Uh, they save part of this money, then they pay school fees, they also use it for other basic necessities at the household levels. So it has greatly improved the standard of living of people in my community. What I've noted uh, through the implementation, not only in our Germany district, but across the districts, there is enormous need. Where we have invested, we have achieved, but again, that has also created another challenge. Because, for instance, our facilities that has attracted pupils to come to our facilities and leave others. So that's already a problem. So it means we need additional funds to address the gap even in that very institution, either a school or a health centre. The project is due to, to close in December 2023. Um, you know, and, and thus far it's been rated you know, quite highly by the World Bank. So really, you know, what comes next will be part of a discussion with the government of Uganda over the coming weeks and months.